The Tembo Tusk Scottle, arguably one of the most famous and most meme-inspiring cooking devices in the overland industry. After owning one for seven years, I think it's finally time I reviewed it. Let's take a look at the recent improvements to the Scottle, talk about if it's worth the hype, worth the money, or worth taking up space in your truck. So tonight what I'm doing is I'm making some non, some breaded chicken. Basically I'm gonna bake the breaded chicken on the Scottle. So I've actually owned the Tembo Tusk Scottle for probably seven years or so. And uh, when I talked to them recently, I found out that I have one of the first 100 or 200 made because there's a weld in the center of it that you can see that the new ones no longer have. So I understand that the Scottle kits are expensive. And part of the reason for that is because it's American made. And like even the bag, this is made by Blue Ridge Overland Gear and it has a lifetime warranty. So there's like little things like that that you're paying for. So I've actually gone through one of these bags before because a zipper broke on it. And uh, I actually reached out to Blue Ridge Overland Gear. I didn't know I was supposed to reach out to Tembo Tusk. And they said, no problem. And they sent me a new bag right away. It wasn't a big deal at all. It was, uh, I had to take a picture of it and on came a new bag. So that's part of what you're paying for is an American made bag. And then there is a bag for the legs as well. And now the new legs are collapsible. I have every single leg that has been made for these now. Tembo Tusk sent me the legs for free and this table and uh, the new burner actually the stainless steel braided hose that I have here. I bought that on Amazon, but um, the Scottle itself I've had for a very long time. I stopped using it actually because I missed flame control. I couldn't cook eggs on this thing and I couldn't cook a few other things. It would just seem like it would get too hot and I wanted something that was more well-rounded. So what I ended up doing is I got a two burner stove. Not that I'm never gonna use that again or anything like that, but um, on a lot of trips, I want to use this because it's such a simple device. It's just one big area to cook on and you clean one thing and you're done and it's, it's nice. You can just zip it away, put it away. There's no pots and pans and stuff. I've baked pies on this. I've baked pizzas on this. I've done all sorts of stuff. And so I'm excited to use this new burner. And then I got this new hose because I have my propane tank mounted on the back here. And so I wanted to be able to bring it under here whenever it's raining or something like that. But right now it's beautiful outside aside from the wind. And so I'm going to, first I'm gonna cook up some cabbage and then I'm gonna make this chicken. And so we're gonna go through this real quick. So as you can see here, this table has kind of a weird slope to it and I can't seem to get it to lay flat at all. Uh, I did use this once in the shop on a perfectly level surface and it was able to do that. Like I said, it has been balanced before, but uh, it's still pretty new to me. So I'm getting used to this table. It's kind of interesting because it pivots back and forth which I don't know that I completely love, but with the FJ, I will take any bit of table space that I can get. So I'm gonna chop up the cabbage on this and uh, start cooking that up. The table works really good. It doesn't slide because the, there's an O-ring on the bottom of the leg here. So it doesn't slide at all actually, which is really nice. I am putting quite a bit of force on this and it's not moving around. I just leaned down with my lighter to light this thing. Totally forgot that this thing actually has a striker on it now, which is a blessing. And so it's right on the knob. And Tembo Tusk, I should say, sent me this windshield as well. I had a, uh, like basically a DIY one that was just bent aluminum. This one is much nicer and it actually seems to uh, block wind. I mean, it's not a complicated apparatus, but I do recommend buying the windshield. The new Scottle burner that they're using is leaps and bounds better than what it had. But the huge advantage of what it originally used was that it was a very cheap stove. They're like 20 bucks and you could find them anywhere. And so to this day, uh, even though I would prefer that this works for a whole trip, um, if I were somewhere like Baja and my stove gave out, I almost guarantee that with a little bit of driving, it might take a little while, but um, you could probably find a burner that would fit this thing because it's like the standard, there's, there's like four different companies that make the same thing. It's the cheapest one in like gas stations. I've seen them sold at gas stations before. So you could find a burner that could screw into the bottom of this and you're good to go and you wouldn't be without a stove. I really like that. It's a, it makes it a simple and serviceable item. And it's just so simple. This thing's made out of cast and steel. Not much can go wrong with this. So anyway, just a side note. 
I don't need this anymore. It's kind of nice. So let's cover some features real quick for those that might not know. The Scottle can grill, steam, fry, and bake. You just need a lid and a steam tray. This is the original burner sold with the Scottle. These were 15 to 20 bucks back when I bought mine, and I bought several through the years looking for better flame control. So while these cheap burners do burn a little too hot for my liking, it's nice to know that I could pick one up in a pinch. Easy to find parts are always welcome in my book. So the table, though it's not perfectly straight, it works, it works pretty well. I will put all of my cooking stuff in the description for anybody that's interested. So the Scottle has the capability of being a very hot grill or app cooking apparatus, whatever you want to call it, uh, griddle. And so you can cook things really fast on it. And I'm cooking the cabbage first because I need to bake the chicken, which is going to take a little while. And because of that, um, I can reheat the cabbage much easier. And while the chicken's cooking, I'm gonna put the cabbage inside of one of these aluminum ball cups. If you haven't seen these before, um, these are like, I think $8 for a 24 pack. These are so much better than the plastic cups are. You can put these in the dishwasher and uh, aluminum is basically infinitely recyclable. So these are much better for the environment, which of course we all care about, but I carry like probably six of these on any given trip. And so for a situation like this, I'll put the cabbage in here and then um, I'll use it and do what I need to do. And then I'll just clean this when I get home most likely. So I don't have to deal with it right now. On a longer trip, I would just wipe it out, but it's a nice little cup that's durable and just easy to use. Okay, so the Scottle does not come with one of these. You can buy one from their website. Um, it's like a steamer tray. Soon I'm gonna figure out a way to drill a hole in this and put a thermometer in it because just like the Coleman kind of oven, it'd be cool if that had a thermometer in it. So when you're baking stuff, cause that's in my opinion, one of the huge advantages of this device is that you can bake with it. So I'm gonna put those two pieces of chicken on there and it's kind of a learning curve for that because you don't have a thermometer so i'm gonna figure that out and maybe i'll talk to tembo tusk about that but i think it could be done relatively easy and it would be incredibly useful so we'll figure out more on that soon the new burner is not nearly as temperamental as the old one is and because of that i thought this was baking pretty well and it wasn't so i took the baking tray out so in this case i'm actually just going to cut this up but i'm getting a little impatient because i'm hungry so i'm just going to chop this up and let it cook right in the skillet because I'm not used to being able to cook on the scottle like this. So I'm going to chop these pieces up, get them heated up, and then I can eat here pretty quick. This is a good thing because the old burner just cooked so hot. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, so we'll reheat all this and we'll be done pretty quick. So now I'll slap these bad boys on here. These ones are big. I try to buy the smaller ones. These ones are pretty big. So I'll probably just do two and divide up the chicken in between. I put like a carabiner on mine that I broke one of the edges off so I could hang my lid real easy. My sister and her husband introduced me to this magic sauce, chili onion, crunchy stuff from Trader Joe's. And it is just incredible. I forget what brand makes this stuff, but I put everything in a smaller container for camping, but this is called Buffer Ranch. It's like a mixed like Buffalo Ranch sauce. And so I uh, keep that in the refrigerator. That goes on top of this. The last ingredient that I have on here is the Merlot cheese because I am a big fan of the Merlot cheese and it's always what I have at home. So it's always what I use and I'm gonna put this on there too and it's gonna be fantastic. I like to get these small containers because then for camping, overlanding, whatever, um, you can keep these at room temperature inside of your food boxes and you don't have to have a big jar of pickles taking up refrigerator space. So I got everything back in the center of the scottle now. I've got these non pretty well and heated. I've got my pickles chopped up over here with my cheese and that's about it. And something to know is this entire thing is not hot. It's hot for like basically the size of like a normal skillet and then the heat dissipates. So you can keep things warm out here and then you cook in the center. All oh, these are gonna be good. So messy and so glorious.
You can get this stuff on Amazon for like $11. It's much cheaper at Trader Joe's. But if you don't have access to a Trader Joe's, dude, I'm telling you, this is the best sauce. Like we don't have access to a Trader Joe's locally. We gotta drive three hours to get to one. So we're gonna stock up when we can. But if I gotta pay that extra money for it, I'm gonna pay that extra money for it. Oh, the meal's done and Blue is suddenly awake enough to come hang out. What do you know? This is a lot of food. This is too much food for me. So good. This is one of those meals that you come up with when your wife leaves. And you got proved yourself that you still know how to cook. <laughs> this is it. And it's a winner. So the original burner that the Scottle utilized wasn't very adjustable and it usually burned too hot. So to test if the Scottle will work for finer foods that require less heat than what I could achieve before, it's time for the egg test. With the original burners, I couldn't cook foods that required lower heat, which ruled out a lot of options. So for me right now, this is really the test to find out if this has become a truly well-rounded device. And with the new burner, I've cooked scrambled eggs on this for the first time without a burn spot on them. I'm in love with the Scottle all over again. Okay, so let's sum this up. The basic Scottle price is $395 at the time of this recording. If you want the whole setup as you've seen in this video, it's a whopping $545. Part of that increase is the burner, which I see is a very welcome addition and it makes it a very well-rounded product. This device can truly replace an entire cooking kit for some, and I say some because it's unique and not everyone will love it like I do. The Scottle is simple and easy, and it will outlast me, and I will be taking it on many more adventures. Links in the description below. This entire adventure trip will be posted on the channel soon, so subscribe to watch me bounce off rocks on the way to camp, and feel free to check out some of my other adventure, off-road, and overland-related content.